Hi gang, this is Jamie with GettinCraftyStampin.com. I'm going to show you to make a really pretty um, stained glass looking card. It's a stained glass technique. So what you're going to need, here I used a shimmer paper, but you can use almost any under paper. You're going to need a brayer, two or three ink pads. The page that you're going to use, this here is the shimmer paper, just because it adds a little something extra special. And a sheet of window. Um, one of our window sheets and our stays on jet black ink pad. So right now what I'm going to do is we're going to create the ombre variegated look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the lightest color first and so I'm going to do the pool party on half and then I'm going to come into the other half of the brayer with the Island Indigo. These are monochromatic sisters so they will um, always look really soothing and pretty. So again, you can load it again, there you go, and then do the Island Indigo. Get it as rich and as elegant as you want. And yes, those lines are perfectly fine, because when you look at any of those dye jobs, you can go from the side if you wanted. You can really have fun with this look. So that is going to give you this great sparkle colored ombre look. Okay, so I'm going to set aside this pretty ombre, pretty sparkle paper, and I'm going to take our window sheet, and I'm going to take this new Perfect Peacock stamp set, and with our Jet Black Stays On ink, you need to have a Stays On ink or a Craft ink to really work with the top of this um, image, so it has that stained glass look. I'm going to stick the window sheet on top, and get a pretty image there you go and I'm gonna put my finger here and I'm gonna carefully go across the top of it with my bone folder what I'm gonna be doing is making sure that I'm covering the full surface and not missing any of those pretty little accent pieces so then I'm gonna peel it off and you have this beautiful window stained glass look I'm gonna use glue dots the clear glue dots will go on all four corners and they will apply to the top of this pretty image and then you can layer it over the cardstock and here I used an accent on the side and I used the Stampin' Dimensionals underneath of this in order to have it raise above the cardstock. So you can do a lot of different things with that. You can just layer it and create a stunning card. Now Christine asked about this technique and wanted a video and I couldn't help um, posting one, a great little tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed this colorful stained glass card. Let me know what you create with this same technique and email me if you have any questions. Don't forget the GettinCraftyStampin.com. It's my blog where I have daily tutorials and I, you can also see all of our videos as well as sign up for the exclusive mailing list. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.